There are few living today who remember a time of solitude and snowshoes. Of mixed heritage, J.J. Van Bibber is a man with a foot in both worlds. In a century of transition, he has thrived both subsisting on the land and profiting in industry. We try our best to get along with everybody, natives, white, to anybody. You're, you're my great-great-grandpa, so I must be your great-great-granddaughter. The camera he carried since the age of 13 was his constant companion on all his adventures. JJ's wife of 61 years, Clara, was a Han woman from 12 Mile at the mouth of the Shenandoah River. She bought a movie camera that they both used to document life at home, in the bush, and in town. Together, they have created a legacy of thousands of images that tell a vivid story of a century of change and underscore the rugged beauty and contrasts of Canada's Yukon Territory. It just come to us, you know. We never ever thought of uh, do photography work or doing anything like that. We just liked pictures and took pictures. And we took a lot of scenic pictures too, you know, as well as uh, animals and stuff like that. But uh, it, it uh, just kind of grown in us. Now a consummate storyteller, J.J. Van Bibber is dedicated to passing on his stories to family, What's your least favorite story? as well as to educators and students of the culture and history of the far north. The stories that uh, the first generation have about how they lived and how they uh, survived uh, with almost nothing on the land. And it's amazing how they had to live. People from around the world are fascinated by how it used to be, and which is why they are attracted to a place like Yukon, and not only our wilderness, but uh, the people that made the land. Grab my hand, AJ. See him coming in fast. I got it. J.J.'s father was an American trapper from West Virginia. At the height of the gold rush, Ira Van Bibber crossed the Chilkoot Pass into Canada's last frontier. He married Eliza, the daughter of Chief Jackson of the Taku Tling at First Nation. Together, they raised 13 children on a homestead outside Pelly Crossing. As a child, J.J. learned firsthand about hard work. You know, we had to hustle and uh, look after ourselves and, and fare for ourselves, you know. We both got and slept under the same blanket, yes. We lived pretty well off the, off the land. And uh, we just uh, trapped and hunted and lived ourselves. In fact, we were so backward, we never talked to anybody. Just our own family, you know, when we come to serious stuff, we, we decided things uh, amongst ourselves. We didn't go to somebody else, you know. Throughout his life, by dog team and by cat train, JJ and his brothers traveled deep into the wild heart of the Yukon. JJ lived and traveled all over the territory. He was born and raised at Russell Creek. He went to school in Dawson City. He trapped up on the Minor River and the Nation River. He hunted in the mountains around Hess River. He worked on building the highway between Minto and Mayo. He mined the 60 Mile River. He boomed logs on the Stewart River. 
He cut wood at Keno. He worked the steamer from Dawson to Circle Alaska. When he drove logs down the Yukon to the mill in Dawson, he learned how to read water. Reading water is a, it's a gift, you know, that you have. I was the only one that uh, did boom logs down of any size, you know, 700 logs or boom, hundreds of ton of green logs. And uh, you have to read the water so when the water's flowing down, you know, when you come to, to a bar, you pick the biggest channel. I have five years I got, I got stuck once. Now, at 90 years of age, J.J. Van Bibber is still hard at work, sharing his cache of stories with new generations. That's your least favorite story? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm here having my picture taken with this cash. We're going to run the lottery on this and see who's going to who's going to win, the cash or me. Who's going to stand the longest? Yeah, I've got better legs than the cash has, haven't I? Just uh, the way uh, that's all it's all. It's just a heel toe, and the way you go, heel toe, and the way you go, and that's all it is. And that's the way you dance, and you go, go the heel toe, and the way you go, heel toe, and the way you go. And when you say away you go, you, you dance sideways a bit. Heel toe, and the way you go, heel toe, and the way you go, round, round, round quite easy, but that's an old, old song too, yeah.